hi welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back now first i know i had promised you a video on nfts i'm still working on that so today i am going to talk about something different something that i've been wanting to talk to you about and i mentioned it a little bit in one of my previous videos um and it's about the issue of tmj and if maybe changing the position of your teeth can help with that now first i have to correct the record because we tend to use the term tmj to describe the problem but tmj actually stands for temporomandibular joint and it's really the joint that unites your jaw to your skull so that's what tmj stands for tmd is more accurately the term that we should use for what we're talking about because it's temporomandibular disorder which is when the joint is affected. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So what exactly are the symptoms of TMJ? Well, if you have it, you know. It's that clicking, it's pain in your, uh, in your jaw. It makes it sometimes difficult to chew, to bite into things. Uh, some people suffer severe headaches because of TMJ. Sometimes your, your jaw can be locked in a position, whether closed or open, and it can be very painful and kind of frightening when you feel like your jaw is not moving and you're trying everything and you're massaging and nothing is happening. Those are some of the most common symptoms of TMJ. And if you think about what could be the causes of this, well, there's really the main cause is tension in the jaw. Um, if you're somebody who grinds your teeth at night, if you're somebody who clenches your jaw, uh, you're somebody who always, you know, and sometimes you do this without even realizing, you're constantly biting and it's it's really hard here because you're, you're always holding tension here. And um, so you might be asking, okay, so, yeah, that makes sense, but what does that have to do with the position of your teeth? Well, in the example that I mentioned the last time when I, I briefly talked about this, um, one of the things about my overbite is that um, my superior teeth, uh, my upper teeth uh, were jutting forward and it was embarrassing. I also had some chips, chipped teeth uh, it, at the top and the bottom. And so I felt kind of embarrassed whenever I was smiling to show, number one, that my upper teeth were jutting up and also that they were chipped. So what I would do to mask the, the unevenness of my teeth, I would do this. You see? And in doing that, to cover the bottom part of my top teeth, because they were jutted forward, I had to jut my jaw forward and then lift my lips, you know, to hide it. And I feel that that over time contributed to my TMD because what I was doing is I was putting my jaw out of its natural position and I was also holding it there and that was causing tension, unnecessary tension on my joint. And so over time, I developed this click that it doesn't always, you can't always hear it, but it was there. And sometimes you feel the, the jaw locking in place. And I think it had a lot to do. Why do I think that? Well, ever since I have been using Invisalign and my teeth have slowly got into the proper position, I no longer have to do this. I can just smile normally keep my jaw in its normal position. And the truth is my TMD has improved greatly since my teeth have been aligning. Now, to be very fair, um, I don't believe that Invisalign has ever suggested that aligning your teeth is going to help you with TMD. I even spoke to my, my dentist about this and he said, well, you know, I'm glad that you're feeling relief. However, officially we can't say that Invisalign or any kind of braces or 
switching the position of your teeth is going to alleviate your TMJs or your TMD. So I want to make sure that we understand that, that I'm not making claims on behalf of the company. They don't even know me. <laughs> this is not sponsored. None of my videos are sponsored. When I talk about Invisalign or anything else, I'm always talking about my personal experience. And so I want to make sure that, that you understand that I'm not making any medical claims that number one, I'm not an expert in. And number two, that hasn't really been proven. I'm only speaking from my own experience. And I believe that there is a correlation with the relief of my TMD symptoms and the aligning of my teeth. Now, I have to mention this because in the, in the last set of trays that I've been getting, I have been using two rubber bands on my between um, my teeth and my trays um, for uh, quite a, a large period of time in the beginning of my Invisalign journey, I had only one rubber band that I used on this side. And now in the last 10 trays that I'm gonna be using, uh, the doctor added a second rubber band that I'm gonna be using here. And I only use those when I sleep. And for some reason, that has created, I feel, some extra tension in my jaw when I wake up from sleeping and wearing the two rubber bands. Um, I feel like there is tension. Sometimes I feel a little bit of pain where my TMJ is. And I think it's because of the two rubber bands, my jaw tends to clench at night while I'm sleeping, I'm not sure. The good news is that I am only going to be dealing with the two rubber bands for, well, at this point, the next six weeks. And so it's not going to be forever. And during the day, as the day goes on, when I'm not wearing any of the rubber bands, and there is no tension, there is no problem. But I do, I have noticed that ever since I started using the two rubber bands at night, the pain kind of has come back. So I do believe that um, the position of your jaw when it comes to um, your fixing of your teeth can have an impact on your TMJ and ultimately either cause or relieve your TMD. So this is what I will tell you, whatever stage you are in, if you are suffering from TMD, um, some of the things that they advise you, if you are somebody who grinds your teeth, I don't have that problem. I've never um, been observed to have any symptoms of teeth grinding. The surface of my teeth are not showing any kind of wearing down, which suggests that I'm not grinding my teeth even, even now. But if you are somebody who grinds your teeth, a uh, mouth guard can really help with that. A teeth guard, something that you put to protect your teeth. Um, but the tension on your jaw, that's really what's causing the problem. So you can't really control what happens while you're sleeping. But what I will say to you is while you're awake during the day, become hyper conscious of what your jaw is doing. If you feel yourself clenching, just remember to relax. Relax your jaw. Find the most comfortable position. Sometimes you have to move your jaw around a little bit and then find the position where it's most comfortable and just stay there in a relaxed way, not in a tense way, in a relaxed way. So become aware of what your jaw is doing. And yes, we tend to carry a lot of our stress on our backs, our shoulders, and our jaws, surprisingly enough. And also I find myself when I'm working out, especially my upper body, when I'm doing shoulder exercises, which is lifting my arm. I should do more fitness videos. I haven't done one in a while. So look up for that. Um, but when I'm doing like the side lifts and the, the front lifts with the, the dumbbells, I can feel the tension traveling from my shoulders, especially right here on my right side. I can feel it traveling on my shoulder and I can hear clicking right here. So that is something that when I notice it, I try to move slightly different. I try to move my arms in a, in a, in a slightly different position so that I can identify, okay, when, when I move my arms like this, 
that's what's causing the the clicking and the tension here so maybe if i move my arm a little bit more to the right or to the left and i lift and i don't feel that clicking and i don't feel that tension that tells me okay that's the position i would also recommend and this is something that i haven't done because i can't afford it right now but as soon as i can that is something that i would consider splurging on finding a chiropractor i think chiropractors are the most underrated medical professionals i think that they can help with so much and align spine um and shoulders and a, and a jaw that is aligned in the proper position can really revolutionize your life i think and finding the right uh, chiropractor who can you know feel your joints and and observe how you move and and see what they can do to relieve some of the tension i think it could be a great great service to helping you with your tmj there are also tmj um specialists which i believe they have studied some um um chiropractic is that i don't know but they have studied that um that science and so i think it would really really help if you can find a professional that can help you with that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video to talk about how I believe that Invisalign has helped with my TMD. Also, the way you move your jaw and how you chew your food and the position of your jaw, I think it can help to exacerbate the problem. And if your teeth are finally finding the proper position, it's going to affect how you chew your food, how you bite. And if your teeth are now in the right position and you are biting in the right position, you are relieving the tension that you created by moving your jaw in unnatural ways. And so I think all these things contribute to it. I don't know if studies are being done to find out if there's somebody from Invisalign watching this, if you would want to invest in a study to see how the shifting of the teeth can either alleviate or maybe make worse TMJ, uh, it would be a good study. It, and if you can show that having your teeth in the right place can alleviate the problem of TMD, you know, that's another plus for people to try. Um, Invisalign or any kind of braces system that can help put your teeth in the right position. So thank you so much for watching this video. If this is some of the topics that you would like to hear me talk about, please subscribe to my channel. I talk about Invisalign. I talk about my fitness journey. I do hair tutorials. And like I mentioned in my last video, I want to do some deep dives on other interesting topics such as NFTs, cryptocurrencies, movie analysis, TV show analysis, pop culture things. Maybe you would like to join me. So yeah, please join our little family. We're a tiny little family, but we're slowly growing. Um, also leave a like if you would like to um, let me know that you appreciate what I do and leave a comment. Do you agree with what I said? Do you disagree? Have you had the experience of um, noticing that your job position and the way you use your jaw has changed ever since your teeth have been aligned. Let me know. I would love to talk to you. And uh, please stick around for the next video, at which time I will see you again. Bye-bye.